They must be bringing out MW3 then as well. They could, but Modern Warfare 2 is more iconic. Way more. Because obviously we Modern Warfare 3, that's when they kind of changed it up a bit. With the specialists and shit. Because with this game, it were... COD 4, and then obviously, it's like, how the fuck could they beat COD 4? And then obviously they made this. Because it obviously went this, well it went COD 4, World of War, Modern Warfare 2. And then obviously Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3. Because to me, that's when COD went down. Pew. Yeah, more likely, but this is like, it is, it's like one of the best. It's literally one of the best campaign mission, like campaigns. Easy. I still say Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, 100% is still the best one. And obviously we're supposedly the next Call of Duty going to be in Vietnam. Which I personally think is going to be a reboot. Well, they've said that it's probably going to be a reboot. Because... The one thing, well, the one thing that they didn't really go through on is the whole. They can't. Well, they kind of did and they didn't. It's like with the whole thing of uh, with the whole black art stuff when they obviously did the mini, the mini campaign ish with the specialist missions but then obviously you find out that Woods was like one of the main characters that she recreated like it was a like a fuck me oh fuck it was basically like a oh, that word Like it was the com it were a computer machine, pretty much like our thingy one. Uh, Black Ops Three. And then the whole cutscene that they did, where you see Woods and Mason inside the rook, and then in Woods' mind, he always said that. It was Mason in the container, not him. So, I clicked on the other day. Because they never really went... They, never, they didn't even really go with it. And obviously, if you listened... When you completed certain... When you completed the specialist mission... You unlock the titles, but you also unlock audio reels. And it was actually Woods talking to Mason and stuff. And then one of them, you actually find out that Ber uh, Reznov was actually still alive. Because he was saying that Woods 
took him to Baroque and then this he says that oh there's someone I want you to meet and it was fucking Reznor. Obviously he died. Well supposedly. And then even then then they're like Mason starts going crazy. Saying oh it's it's in my head again. He's like, no, he's no, he's, he's actually here. He's actually here. And then that got me thinking, with this supposedly next Black Ops game is going to be a reboot. Makes sense now because of the whole Woods thing. Woods and Mason thing. Because they didn't really go, they didn't really go anywhere with it. So then it's like, right. Supposedly this next card, the next Treyarch card is... I'm in a fucking ditch, how the fuck are you hitting me? The next call to do it is supposedly in Vietnam. Which obviously Black Ops 1 was set. So obviously if it is a reboot... It seems a bit weird that Treyarch went all that way with that with Woods and Mason on Black Ops 3. But they didn't really go... Black Ops 4, sorry. Because the whole black art. So. Are they actually going to go with it that the next Treyarch game is. The reboot of Black Ops, Black Ops, since the whole Mason thing, Mason and Woods thing. Because why the hell would they make it say that Wood says it was him? To basically say it's a reboot. We've played through, but obviously we've played as Mason, and obviously Woods coming out saying no, it was you inside the container. It was everything you. I saved you. So maybe this one's like hinting that it is going to be a reboot and you be playing as Woods instead or something. It just it, it just seemed a bit weird of them going through with all of that and not going with it with anything. They had a fucking wall. It just seemed a bit strange. Summit shoots in there. It seemed a bit strange because Treyarch, when they go through for summer, they, they pretty much finish it. Come on. I love it. Oh, that's a fucking wall. Fucking snipers, man. Oh shit, Jason, follow. Raiders. That's what he said. Appreciate the follow, dude. Because the one thing. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's like the whole thing with zombies. Like, yeah, with the whole main story of zombies finished, no Dempsey, no Rick Toffman, no no one. Oh, that's it, no more. But I'm sorry, but I don't know what the. F oh my god! I really don't know what the hell they're gonna do with zombies because of the fact. 
no matter what they do, it will not feel the same. Because of the characters. They need the characters. Because that's why they, all the other zombies just didn't fit. Because of the characters. I still say to this day, zombies wouldn't be as as it is because if the characters want on it, no chance, mate. No way on this planet. Takio Dempsey Nikolai and Richtoff and made zombies. And it's like, try out making a new one. It's like Sarge, are you reading this? That's where we gotta go. Now get the door. Roger it just feels like it's gonna be good, but it's just not gonna have that same feel because of the characters. Unless if it is obviously is a reboot. And if it's a reboot Because it would have been nice. I still personally say it would have been cool if they actually implemented Woods and Mason and Reznov into zombies. Since that nearly everything is connected through zombies, through the campaign of all the Black Ops games. Because they wouldn't... Well, I should just say that. I still do personally think they're going to bring back the characters somehow. It's like with the whole, as you seen when I did it. Yeah, Reznov was a badass. Especially when you find out that obviously Reznov in his mind is making him do this shit because he wanted payback. Like he wanted revenge, like he says. It's just fucking amazing. And then, if they should have, like what I said, it would have been kind of cool if they kind of implemented them into zombies. Kind of like on Grove on Crovey or something. Plus where you see that that wooden near the, the spawn area where you find that wooden board where it says I'll have, I'll have my revenge VR. And then that's when I clicked on because that's the, the actual map on the campaign of World at War where you you shoot Richtofen. And, and you obviously go through with Reznov. But obviously they didn't they didn't do it with it. Man, I'm rushing this too much. And then they could have implemented they could have implemented woods into Alpha Omega, that's it. The, obviously the Nuke Time remake.
Because that's what pretty much happens with all the other zombies. That's why no one likes it. It's because there's just nothing there. And its best example is the World at War. Re pretty much the World at War reboot. They're zombies. The characters, they were just. They were just. They were just bland. There was just nothing to them. But the actual zombies look fucking sick. They proper look like a horror, like a full-on horror thing. But there was just nothing to the characters. Obviously, there wasn't bad character actors though, because they were actually good actors. But they just made it so the characters just did not look into them. Then obviously you look at Treyarch zombies. Every single character's got a fucking backstory. They've all got their own personality and shit. Because that's where they got the whole, the whole quotes in a way from the zombies is from Reznov. Can you give me a fucking checkpoint? Jesus Christ, I'm literally doing this entire bit. Because it's the, it's the prison mission from Black Ops 1. Every single quote that Rittenhouse says is from zombies. Sent from darkness and shit. So it's kind of shit. Yeah, what was your best zombies, Mark? My best zombies, Mark. Because... When... I played zombies. I didn't really do it for the maps because to me the maps were just all the same. We gotta push through. You literally just find that one map. Well, you, obviously the new map comes out, then you find the best spots, rinse and repeat. It's not nothing to it. And I say the, my most favorite one. It has to be, ver I mean, Shuno Numa, 100%, because that's when it kind of all started. Obviously, that's when they added to the characters and shit. It's like, that's when we kind of got to know him. It would just, because it was even the first zombies map. Well, it was even the first map that I actually got into because I didn't buy because I never brought the rook for the board at war. I never brought it. Because that was when I liked playing zombies because it was obviously like a survival type mode thing. But to me it just got boring. And obviously I've Find out obviously the rooks. Yeah, they brought perks and shit into it, the announcer. And then Shuno Numa came out, I thought, right, I'm getting this. And then as soon as I got it, I was just hooked. And then 10 years later, it's finished. And it's probably one of the best side modes to date. I know Black Ops 1 zombies is packs, but I love the Black Ops 2 maps, they were so fun and played. Look around with like on turbine and Dire Ice and the lifts. 
Back when zombies Easter eggs was like 20, 30 steps. He didn't get beat within a day.